The weekly distance traveled by a salesman is normally distributed with a mean of 615 kilometers and a standard deviation of 24 kilometers. Find the probability that in a week the salesman travels more than 615 kilometers. So, by just drawing a normal distribution curve, you got mean. <coughs> your mean is 615. So mu is 615 and standard deviation is 24 kilometers. So the question is, find the probability that in a week the salesman travels more than 615 kilometers. So just looking at this, you can say this is going to be 50 percent. Or in terms of probability, it's going to be 0 0.5. Now if you want to do this on a calculator, you go to normal distribution, uh, then press F5, which is distribution, then go to normal, and then go to NCD. So the lower is 615, and upper is a large number. So let me put 99999. Standard deviation is 24, and mu, which is mean, which is 615 that will exactly give you 0.5. So that's the answer. So here you don't even need a calculator. So when you don't know the upper, you put a large number. And when you don't know the lower, you put a small number. Okay. Now the next question is, what is the probability that it travels more than 600 kilometers? So again, draw a normal curve. Mu is 615. Standard deviation is 24. So 600 would come here. Okay, so basically you want to find this answer or this area. Now I can say this area is going to be greater than 0 0.5. Okay, you can estimate the answer. So again, how how would you do it? You go to lower is 600 and upper is a large number which is already there, and that answer is 0 0.7340. So in four decimal places, 0 0.7340 in 4DP. Generally, you should write the answer in four decimal places. Okay, now the next question is between 615 and 620. So again, same thing. 615 is this, 615 is exactly in the middle, 620 would come somewhere here. So you want to find this probability. So again, go to lower is 615 and upper is 620. Mean and standard deviation are the same, which is 0 0.0825. So the probability is 0 0.0825 0 0.0825 in four decimal places. Okay, the next question is in a batch of 5,000 bottles, how many would you expect to contain juice less than the amount stated on the label? So what's the question here? Yeah? So it says, uh, okay, what does it say? Okay, let's read it. Okay, so how many would you expect to contain less than okay so let's say this bottle can the label is 600 mill uh, this is a different question okay okay so this is a different question so let's ignore this you can't do this without this information. I have copied and pasted from somewhere else, so this cannot be done. Okay, a salesman works 48 <laughs> weeks per year. In how many of these weeks would you expect to drive more than 640? So here you're talking about the travels done by a salesman. So the question is, for out of 48 weeks, how many weeks would he So the mean is 612 
and so let's do this question so the salesman is will deal with this later so the question is how many of these weeks would you expect to drive more than 640 kilometers so basically we have to first find the probability of the salesman traveling for more than 640 kilometers so so this is 615 here in the middle 615 here and the question is what is the probability first of the travel salesman traveling more than 640 kilometers so let's find this probability so the question is what is the probability that x is greater than 140 so using the calculator your lower is 640 and upper is a large number so let me put 99999 mean and standard deviations are the same so the probability of the salesman traveling for more than 640 kilometers is 1488 in four decimal places so the probability is 0.1488 now probability is always out of 1 this is 0.1488 so the question is if this is out of 1 out of 48 weeks how many weeks would you travel more than 640 so the answer would be you can also remember this formula number is the number of weeks is n times the probability which is the number of weeks is 48 times the respective probability which is 0 0.1488 so it's very logical this is out of one out of one he's traveling more than 640 is traveling more than not 140 it is 640 more than 140 kilo sorry 640 kilometers uh, the probability is 0.1488 so if it is out of 48 that would be 0.1488 so let's go to the run menu 0.1488 times 48 uh, I need one 0.1488 times 48 so it's roughly 15 percent so you can expect that seven weeks seven or eight weeks is good so you can say seven or eight weeks so if you round it to round it down or up it doesn't matter so yeah I can say uh, 7.14 some may say it is 8 weeks or some may say it is 7 weeks both are right so you can say out of one f out of 48 weeks the probability that this salesman travels more than 640 kilometers is 7.14 weeks to be exact now you can't have 7.14 week technically you can so you can say well, well it can be either 7 weeks or eight weeks okay now the next question is good the salesman claims that he drove more than 615 kilometers in 32 out of the 40 weeks so 32 out of 40 is how much as a percent so let's find that so this is 32 divided by 40 so what is he is claiming that the probability of him traveling six more than 615 kilometers is 0.8 or in other words he's saying 80 percent of the weeks is traveling more than 615 comment on this claim is this claim right well what is the what is the mean the mean is 615 so you can say this probably this doesn't make sense because if it's normally distributed if the mean is 615 the probability that he travels more than 615 c can be only 0 0.5 whereas this is what his claim is he's claiming to be traveling for 80 percent or the probability of him traveling uh, for more than 600 kilo 615 kilometers is 0 0.18 okay so the comment does it doesn't comment is not valid comment oh sorry the claim is not valid claim is not valid 
is not valid. Okay.